Devious, if you would please come up and, and share a few words. First of all, welcome to Nepal. Uh, I, I think this is your first time. What have you heard about Nepali cricket so far? Firstly, Namaste Nepal. <laughs> uh, so I think, uh, firstly, I would like to congratulate the Nepal team for uh, qualifying. Uh, I can't speak any more Nepali. <laughs> Hindi? So I think uh, it's been it's been real uh, journey for them, you know, because I was following this course uh, in the recently concluded tournament in uh, Dubai, and I think it's a great achievement. Uh, the kind of uh, reception Paris brought, got when he came onto the stage. I mean, I just remembered 1983 uh, World Cup. See, as a kid, I was growing up. <laughs> as a kid, I was growing up, and I got inspired to play cricket for my country because the team won the 1983 World Cup in England. So I'm sure that all the Nepalis here should get encouraged by the way the Nepal team has performed uh, in the recently concluded uh, T20 tournament in uh, uh, Dubai. And also uh, they're playing the qualifier to New Zealand. And I'm so happy that everything is going in the right direction because you know organizing a tournament for exposure for the uh, cricketers playing against some top sides from India and other places. I think that's the right way to uh, go. You know, so I'm really uh, looking forward to their performances, and I'm sure, uh, I'm sure with the kind of support uh, the, the crowd is giving to the cricketers, uh, I'm sure that the cricket team is going to do well. What, what is your message? It's, it's it's an upcoming team, right? Making it big on 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 big tournaments as well. What do you think should they do to move forward? Uh, see, I think it's it's nothing different from the established uh, sides. You know, the only uh, important factor which the Nepal Cricket uh, Association should look is to make sure that the cricketers get as much exposure as possible and that will come only when you play a lot of tournaments and play against some top teams uh, not necessarily only from Nepal from the neighboring countries whether it be India whether it be Pakistan Sri Lanka Bangladesh or why not even South Africa Australia because when you have structured tours and the kind of exposure and experience you give to the cricketers because they're talented there's no doubt, you know, if they can handle pressure and do well in such situations and qualify, uh, I think they can get better. And better, how do they get better? It's only by playing matches. Because only when you play matches, you know your strength, you know your weakness. We, we tend to concentrate a lot on weaknesses. But when you play and do well against top sides, you suddenly realize that there's a lot of strength within the team and that belief factor will grow. So I think the right way to go forward is to play a lot of tournaments, a lot of matches and give the exposure to the Nepal cricketers. Lastly, you're here on a very tight schedule, a couple of days. Uh, what are you looking forward to? Uh, uh, looking forward to watch the game tomorrow morning. Uh, unfortunately, the match got over. Uh, but it's, it's great, you know, because the Indian embassy, the people, they received me. Uh, and you could see the kind of passion they have got for Nepal cricket. So it's great that Indian embassy is really encouraging uh, for the growth of uh, Nepal cr cricketers and cricket team and also Air India. Because I work for Air India and when Shekhar Dada called me and told I thought it, it would be my privilege, you know, because coming and encouraging the upcoming team like Nepal, because we want more teams to come and, and do well at international level, you know, and I think the examples for the Nepal team would be how Sri Lanka came in 1980s, they were Minos, but winning the 1996 World Cup, Bangladesh did well, Kenya did well, so I think why, why can't Nepal do that, you know, and their neighbors <laughs> of... <laughs> but there has to be a structured process, and you cannot expect miracles overnight. You should have patience uh, uh, with your cricketers, with your cricket team. Give them the right uh, opportunities, and I'm sure they'll blossom. Thank you so much for making it to Nepal. Welcome once more. BBS Lakshman, ladies and gentlemen. The cricketing legend that a lot of the cricketers in Nepal, I'm sure, watched as they grew up and learned right there before your eyes.